Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys a high damage strength and faith build. I'm going to tell you guys right now, it feels so good to be this powerful in Elden Ring. Now, I've respect my character a handful of times, and I can honestly say this is one of the best setups that I've made so far. The weapon that really makes this build shine is the Blasphemous Blade that you can see my character holding right here in his right hand. It really packs a punch, tons and tons of damage fire damage to be specific and that's going to be a key component of this strength and faith build so before we take a look at our inventory i definitely want to show you guys my stats currently at the moment of recording this video i'm level 154 now i actually created this build when i was around level 75 80 and i'm telling you guys right now it immediately made my gameplay experience so much better you feel so strong so powerful the blasphemous blade is just really that good as you can see here, my Vigor is at 51, our Mind is at 27. For Endurance, we have 35. It's always good to have a decent amount of Endurance for your attacks. Strength, super high, our Strength is at 60. Dexterity, 21. Intelligence, 15. Our Faith is also pretty high. Again, Strength and Faith are the main stats for this build. Our Faith is sitting at 58, and our Arcane at 16. So if we take a look at our equipment, right here, the Blasphemous Blade, we have it fully fully maxed out plus 10 we do 296 plus 194 physical attack power but also check this out we do 191 plus 144 fire damage fire damage is going to be key for this setup here for our attribute scaling our strength and dexterity we're sitting at a c but for faith our faith scaling is sitting at a b which is incredible now in order to use this weapon you do have to have 22 strength and 15 dexterity also 21 faith obviously to make the incantations possible you do have to have a finger seal i'm currently in the process of getting this fully maxed out my finger seal is sitting at plus 20 which is great because our faith scaling right now is s tier which is the highest tier in elden ring i also use a shield the golden beast crest shield you're pretty much invulnerable to arrows uh, most of the ranged attacks i really want to max this out see how much of a difference it makes i think it's always great to have a backup shield in case you're being bombarded by a lot of enemy attacks right now for the apparel it's completely up to you guys but i'm using the black knife hood the lord of blood's robe the alberix bracers and the malekith greaves i think this combination looks absolutely sick Again, it's up to you guys, but I will say the Lord of Blood's robe is pretty good. It gives you a lot of focus and a lot of vitality. So for my talismans, I'm using the Two Fingers Heirloom, which raises our faith. I'm also using the Crimson Amber Medallion Plus Two, which vastly raises our maximum HP. With us being a strength build, we're going to be up close most of the time, and we need to be able to tank lots of damage. We are also using the Star Courage Heirloom, which raises our strength. Again, strength and faith are the two most important attributes on this build. And then last but not least, we have the Dragon Crest Shield Talisman Plus Two. This is very good to have. So this item vastly boosts our physical damage negation. For my flasks, again, it's personal preference, guys, but I'm using seven and seven. So I have seven flasks to restore my HP and then seven flasks to restore my FP. Again, FP is gonna be important. That is your blue bar. Without the blue bar, if you don't have anything left, you're not gonna be able to use the most overpowered ability in this game, right? The Blasphemous Blade. This hits so hard, so make sure you guys have a decent amount of potions. As you progress through the game, you will obviously get more, but super essential to have, I promise you. For my Wondrous Flask, I think this combination is pretty good. We have the Opaline Bubble Tear, which significantly negates damage received. Very, very good to have. But this second one is extremely important. It's the Flame Shrouding Cracked Tear, which temporarily boosts fire attacks. Why do we want to boost fire attacks? Well, it's going to make our Blasphemous Blade even stronger, which is what we want. And obviously, we have the Mimic Tear Ashes plus 10 fully maxed out. If you guys don't know what this is, basically, when you call it in, it's going to call another version of yourself. You're going to summon yourself, and who better to have on your side than another version of of yourself so that's it for the equipment i really want to show you guys my incantations which are also extremely important so if we go ahead and go to the bonfire here and we go ahead and go to memorize spell you can see we have four spells here 
Now, two of these spells are extremely important to allow us to do even more damage. The first incantation I highly recommend using is Golden Vow, which increases attack and defense, not only for us, but for our allies as well. For my second here, I have the Blessing of the Erd Tree, which is really good to have. You can heal HP over time fairly quickly. But this third one here is what makes the Blasphemous Blade so overpowered. So this is called Flame Grant Me Strength. Raises physical and fire affinity attack power. So we can actually go ahead and test this out real quick. We're going to find an enemy. Keep in mind, I am on New Game Plus. This is my second playthrough. So these enemies are a lot tankier. They do more damage. They're a little bit harder to kill, but it doesn't really matter much because this weapon is so overpowered and it's just super clutch to have. Uh, very reliable. It makes you very confident in combat. I'll actually show you guys right now. So what we're going to go ahead and do is use Golden Vow before this guy comes over here and kills us. Make sure we're not too close. Flame grant me strength. Our wondrous flask. Let's go ahead and see what this weapon does. I mean, easily, guys. Pretty much just two shot at him. He has what? A sliver of HP left. Get him out of here. Tons and tons of damage. I mean, I have yet to run into an enemy that's been killing me over and over. Um, I haven't really died at all this second playthrough super super strong combination faith and strength this is definitely the way you want to go trust me guys i highly recommend using this setup if you have any questions about this build if you think i missed anything important please let me know in the comments below if you want me to make more builds if you want to see more guides more elden ring content please let me know make sure you leave a thumbs up on the video subscribe to the channel if you are new and i will see you guys in the next video peace